Look, I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess. There. It's locked. You hid the machine here. You really never used it yourself? No, I didn't dare. Not after the men came out. It was Paul. He tried to kill me. Rusted shut. Jack, a hand? One more time. When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. Whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there, and used it to come back to 1999. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch, and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. The stutters are gonna get worse, fast. And there's... There's something in them. What do you mean? I can't even describe it. it. It was this guy that I've seen, but living distortion. I'd love to see one. Just the way I left it. Believe me, you wouldn't. Hope it still works. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the future. A little after your time of departure, before the fracture has stopped time permanently. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of course, they'd be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? But I'd be curious to try this. When we exit, it'll be a little past the point you were at when you left to save me. That's our window, when we know it can work, but before time actually ends for good. It may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. Huh. Like they're experts. They kind of are. All they know, they stole from me. You worry about your end, I'll worry about mine. All right, well. That works. This is amazing. All those years, I never knew. Crap. Hang on, Will. He's here. Better not, Jack. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but we're getting. This is bigger than the two of us. You know, time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So, I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. <laughs> Forget Will, Jack! However he came to be here, he's done. It's over. What's going on, Paul? You look fucked up. Even by your fucked up standards. Ah. You took the CFR, Jack. I took it back. I don't care how messed up you are, Paul. You're not taking it from I me. I don't want it! I just want it gone. Forever. Gone. What about your
your survival plan. Fuck the lifeboat, Jack! We're just gonna let the clock run out on this and be done with it. Never mind. Tell me later. We got work to do. I'll have to hook up the countermeasure to the core. It's designed to hypersaturate the Maya Joyce field with proton particles. The time machine's like an amplifier. That'll cause a chain reaction and rejuvenate the field. It'll be a universal event. I'll take your word for it. Just make it happen. Jack, give me a hand with this. What do you need? The countermeasure's charge is low. We'll need a jolt of chronon particles. A jump start. That's you. Measure. It stitched time back together everywhere. <coughs> the destruction couldn't be undone. The lies we lost were real. But we fixed it. Jack. <sighs> Will. Clocks kept on ticking. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I think we just saved the universe. Yeah. Where's Paul? He's dead. He's gone. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Will, he was wrong about everything. Was he? Will. The countermeasure worked. Whoa. The countermeasure burned out. One more question. 
Paul Serene's entire philosophy was that time is a set path and nothing can be changed. At the time, you obviously disagreed. But after everything you've seen and done, we need to know. What do you believe now? Was he right? Or is it possible to change things? I'll come back for you. You've been very patient with us, and very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, well, that patience is starting to wear pretty thin. Of course. Right outside. Mr. Joyce. Finally. Thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. Well, you were at the heart of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own tune, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch. But we can still salvage his company. We could use a man like you. It's not the same Monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. Your exceptional qualities are obvious, and we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other. <laughs> <laughs>